What's going on, bottom line viewers? It's Mitch here, here to break down Cameron Meredith. He is now a member of the New Orleans Saints high-flying offense. We have Drew Brees, Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara, Mark Ingram, Sean Payton at the helm as head coach, and then we have Cameron Meredith playing on the opposite side of Michael Thomas. So Cameron Meredith, a receiver that just two seasons ago looked like one of the breakout candidates at the position. 66 receptions, 888 yards, and four touchdowns in the 2016 regular season for the Chicago Bears. Their number one weapon that season has now left the Bears, and he's going to be a member of the New Orleans Saints. This, in my opinion, is a extremely under-the-radar move that not enough people are discussing. Cameron Meredith, a receiver to me that, like I said, a breakout candidate going into last year. Yes, he had a knee injury, and that is part of the question. Did the Bears let him go because of the knee injury, or did they let him go because they signed all these other free agents? They signed Gabriel. They signed Allen Robinson. They signed, you know, all these other players, Trey Burton. So they needed to maybe not pay one of their receivers, but from as far as I understand it, according to Adam Scheffner of ESPN, the Bears decided on Wednesday to not match the two-year, ten million dollar offer sheet that the Saints gave to Meredith, uh, who is a, who was a restricted free agent. And basically, the Bears did not place a high enough tender on Cameron Meredith. They could have placed a second-round tender on him, and then it would have been a lot harder for any team to reach him to get to him and to pay him um this is actually a pretty stunning and controversial decision by the bears general manager ryan pace who this is not like this in my opinion is not a good move i don't like this move from the bears perspective at all i like cameron meredith as a receiver he's actually a guy that pretty much came from nowhere and rose into prominence in the 2016 season he's a guy with bit he's big he has a big frame he's about six foot three six foot four he has the ability to win one-on-one -on -one matchups down the field to win jump balls he can get physical get inside of corners and catch routes in the middle of the field he's not a guy that's going to burn by you but with speed but with his frame he is very easy to target and i feel like a guy like drew Brees, with the great touch passes that he does have in his disposal will be able to get the football to cameron meredith in a lot of good situations i also think that this is another guy you look at michael thomas Cameron Meredith is a very similar build to Michael Thomas, very similar style of receiver. Now, I'm not saying he is Michael Thomas by any stretch of the imagination, but he is a player that has the same sort of skill set, and I think that Sean Payton knows how to use this type of player. We've seen it in the past with Marquise Colston. We've seen it recently with Michael Thomas. I think that Cameron Meredith will be at his best in this offense as long as he is coming into this season healthy, and I feel like the Saints... From what they have gathered in terms of the information on his knee injury is that Cameron Meredith is a guy that can be an impact player. He's only 25 years old. That means he's probably going to be better recovered from injuries at this age rather than a guy that's a little bit older. He has a lot of potential that has not yet been reached. And I feel like this could be an absolute steal of a move from the New Orleans Saints uh, perspective. This is a team in the Saints that I feel have made a ton of underrated, under the radar moves this offseason that nobody's really paying attention to a lot of people paying attention to the Vikings and the Rams and the Eagles in the NFC but not a lot of people are paying attention to the New Orleans Saints they make another great move here one of their needs to me was getting that next receiver getting that number two option behind Michael Thomas I really felt like Ted Ginn wasn't quite that guy while he Ted Ginn can be uh, kind of a complimentary piece. I think Cameron Meredith gives him a more consistent number two option. And with giving this offer sheet, it's a two-year offer sheet. It's worth $9.6 million with $5.4 in guarantee. A pretty good deal for Cameron Meredith and for the Saints on both sides. Um, it could end up being a steal. It could also really have limited impact if Cameron Meredith you know maybe his knee injury impacts him to the point where he isn't really the same guy that he was a couple of years ago maybe he doesn't really pan out as a saint well it's only two years I mean they could probably get rid of him pretty easily it's not a contract that's going to cripple your team so I feel like this is an amazing deal for the New Orleans Saints getting a guy that 
you know, at 23 years old, was putting up 888 yards, four touchdowns, 66 receptions as basically an undrafted free agent. So Cameron Meredith, a guy that I think is going to have a, a bigger impact than a lot of people think on the New Orleans Saints. I really, really like this move, and I want to hear what you guys think. Do you think that Cameron Meredith is going to have success as a New Orleans Saint? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I cover NFL all the time, all year long, and NFL recaps, rants, uh, discussion videos, topic videos just like this one more draft coverage and free agency to come this offseason. I hope you enjoyed. It's Mitch of the Bottom Line View once again, and peace out.